Hello everyone, welcome to the Geeky Twins. My name is Casey and today we're going to be starting a playthrough called Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. Now I am not quite sure what this game is about. I think it's a point and click. I know that there is a few of them, a few of these kinds of games on Steam and I'm not sure if even this is the first one. I've been told that it is, so we shall see. Let's, let's just get right into it. New game. Sorry if this is a little bit too loud. Harvey's new eyes. It seems like you need to be solaced Telling from the scratch on your knee You fell and got hurt in the process And now you come crying to me I catered for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants Don't worry my dear there is nothing to fear Just a stitch and a sew Soon it's almost as new And the cat will appear After all you have to Admit it is not as severe I'm liking the beginning so far Oh, I have needle and stitch right here Take care of you land up, Scott, my dear I can't stand to watch children bleed Well, don't give me that kind of look now Just keep going on, soon you will See how everything will end well, though it still may depend on your skill I catered for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants But yet needle and thread can bear dangers instead If you're clumsy and plump and dull fingers and thumbs It might just turn out bad, especially when it comes to delicate operations like that Oh, I have needle and stitch right here Take care or you'll end up scarred, my dear I can't stand to watch children bleed I guess I should revise my statement The wound is not going to heal Forget about all that I said and Work harder on your stitching skill I catered for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants Now you pay the bill for your lack of skill And please do stop crying and mourning and sighing Don't weep like a whelp that is painfully dying I merely was trying to help Oh, I have needle and stitch right here Aww. Take care or you'll end up scarred, my dear I can't stand to watch children bleed. 
All right, as you can see, that was Harvey. Harvey's Hello, actually... Hello, dear friends Whoop. of adventure games. The spyware we installed on your computers tells me that many children are sitting at their screens again tonight. That's why I'll refrain from telling you the story that I had actually prepared for okay. you. Okay. Of course, that's a real shame. It would have been such a good story. Would have loved to hear the story. Entertaining explosions, a giant robotic opossum. Sounds awesome. But also with many offensive expressions and an inordinate amount of excessive violence. Even better. The story that I'll tell you instead has a slightly different flavor. It's about <laughs> Lily, the most virtuous child in the entire world. Not entertaining. And it begins in the courtyard of a small sleepy convent school. Not too far from the place where the giant robotic opossum is sucking the brains of innocent bystanders out through their eye sockets. Let's go there. But enough of that. It's a beautiful sunny day. And Lily is raking the leaves in the yard with a cheery tune on her lips. La la la. La la la. Lily! How many times do I have to tell you not to sing while working? You know very well that I hate the sound of cheerful children. These ch ch children are driving me crazy. Chapter One The Convent. Oh, there you are. Is that Moloch making you rip, 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 rake leaves again? Uh huh. Tch. How boring, and so unnecessary, too. The leaves all drift back onto the path anyway. You should just come with me instead. I'm on a treasure hunt right now, you know? Uh-uh. Well, it's your decision. You can always come to the swing tree later, when you're done here. I think I found something in the flower beds over there. Until then, see ya! There are frequent reports of accidents caused by the mishandling of computer games. To minimize the risk of a crippling deformity, we recommend that you strictly comply with all of the following safety guidelines. Do you want to play the tutorial? Yes, I'll play the tutorial. You've decided to play the tutorial. That's very smart of you. And because you paid attention, you also know that with all these leaves here, the convent garden needs a good raking. Lily has already picked up the rake. Accordingly, the cursor now shows the picture of a rake. To discover the spots where Lily can rake, simply press the space bar. Why don't you just try it out right now? Okay. Would you look at that? The red eyes show which items can be used. Apparently, there are three piles of leaves that Lily can use with the rake. Just move the cursor over one of the piles until the name of the item appears next to it. You can now make the move with a left mouse click. But be careful. Accidents can happen so quickly. Okay. Oh. Hot diggity! You've I knew taken that. <laughs> the first step without giving anyone a deep flesh wound. <laughs> but your work isn't done yet. Finish the task for Mother Superior. It can't be that hard, can it? Ah, I see there. Yeah, you have to start from the top. Um... Why are you scooting them back? Seriously? Whoa! That's a never-ending task! Maybe you have to come up with something else to complete this job. 
press the space bar again. Maybe there's another place where you can rake. What's that noise outside? Only coming up with the stone slabs. Oh, it's unbearable. Sorry, <laughs> it sure is, but <laughs> sorry, guys. Lily, now I've had it up to here. I guess I overestimated you once again. You're not even fit to rake leaves. Oh, it doesn't matter. I have two new tasks for you. The flower beds in the backyard have to be dug up again. Can you manage that? Uh-huh. I doubt it, but we'll see. And wow. while you're in the backyard, the swing tree is infested by termites. Just Come have up to go. with something to get rid of them for good. So, one more time for the really clueless. First, dig up the flower beds. Second, Get rid of the termites infesting swing tree. You'll be very sorry if you don't do a good job. <sighs> Lily has finished raking. She's no longer holding the rake in her hand, but she's still got it with her. If you would like to use it again, you can find it in Lily's inventory. Move the mouse cursor to the lower right edge of the screen to open the inventory. Be careful you don't get your finger caught. Amputations are such unhappy affairs. Good. Now, click on the rake symbol with the left mouse button to pick up the rake again. You can now use the rake with other objects at any time, even with other inventory items. When you're done, use the right mouse button to carefully put the rake back into the inventory. This Whoops. This hadn't been very effective, but Lily still felt that she had gotten much closer to her goal. This hadn't been... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that Lily has been relieved of her first task, it's time to get familiar with the basic game mechanics. Press the left mouse button to send Lily wherever you want. Whenever Lily can leave a location, the cursor changes into an arrow. First, follow Edna in the backyard. The exit can be found at the right edge of the monitor. But be careful, that their arrow is sharp. <laughs> When doing garden work, remember, stay alert. The cursor changes whenever Lily can interact with an object. Most objects can be examined. If so, an eye will appear on the right half of the cursor. Click with the right mouse button to execute this action. Why don't you try it on the compost barrel? The yard waste was rotting away leisurely in the composting bin. A paradise for maggots Ugh. and spiders. Lily couldn't stop watching the fascinating activity in there. There are many items that you can interact with. Whenever an item can be used, a corresponding symbol is shown in the left half of the cursor. For example, you could suggest that Lily uses the tie swing. But whether that is really such a good idea... Mm -mm. Edna was Lily's best friend. She always knew how to cheer up Lily. For example, by sabotaging the brakes on <laughs> the mailman's bicycle. I guess I don't have a choice but to do the tire swing. The tire swing was dangling invitingly above the chasm from a termite-eaten branch. Sound safe? 
Hey, Lily, did you finally get out of doing your stupid raking chore? Uh-huh. Very good. Then you finally got time to go treasure hunting with me? Uh-uh. What? Did you get even more chores to do? Uh-huh. That's so unfair. But maybe we can still find a way for you to help me. That would be cool. Treasure hunt. Chores assigned by Mother Superior and Mother Superior. Let's do... <sighs> Mother Superior is having a bad day again, isn't she? Uh -huh. Oh, that's me that saying something. That wasn't hard to guess. The last good day she had was when everyone got mumps. I've rarely heard her laugh so hard. Don't let her annoy you too much, okay? What do you have to do for Mother Superior now? Don't tell me you have to scrape off her warts with a pumice stone again. Ew. I'm still finding crumbs in our bunk from last time. Why? Uh... Uh... Wait, Lily. This is an especially hard spot. Oh, what a drag. This is ruining all my calluses. And it took me so long to nurture them. These what? flower beds could really use some digging. Uh-huh. Don't tell me that's exactly what Mother Superior ordered you to do. Uh-huh. But that's fabulous. And you'll be able to help me dig up the treasure after all. You don't even have a choice. You've been kind of told to by the Lord. All uh -huh. we still need is a shovel. What about the termites? Uh, she told you to get rid of the termites on the swing tree, right? Uh-huh. <sighs> it was just a question of time. Does she even realize how hard it was to collect them all? I even broke into the firefighters museum to get the large red ones. And then all the trouble I went to teaching them tricks. They can already do a polonaise if you lay a trail of jelly. I wanted to teach them the cha-cha next. Ugh, <sighs> what the hell. Maybe you can relocate them instead of blasting them out or whatever else it was you had planned. I'd even help you, but I've run out of jelly. Let's look at the shovel. Uh, the shovel, Lily. We'll never dig up the treasure without a shovel. Um, uh... I don't know where we can find a shovel either. I'd imagine they're kept in the cellar. Now we just need to find a way to get down into the cellar. You can't walk through walls by any chance, can you? Oh, uh -oh. that'd be awesome. We really have to teach you how to do that one of these days. But first, you should concentrate on the shovel. It has top priority. And the jelly? Um... Are you still worried about the termites? I'd really love to help you, but unfortunately, I don't have any more jelly to lure the little darlings someplace else. But when we found the treasure, we can buy ourselves a whole jelly factory. Or even better, a honey farm. I think honey is much cooler than jelly anyway. It sticks to the bottoms of your shoes better. And if we had a honey <laughs> farm, we could also train the bees. Maybe there's still a chance for my project. Peepholes for the Great Wall of China, after all. And treasure. Um, I'm sure you're dying to know how the treasure hunting's going, right? Uh-huh. Well, to be honest, not so great. The ground is just too hard. I doubt I'll be able to find anything here without a shovel. But I already have lots of cool dirt under my fingernails, and I even swallowed a slug by accident. Awesome. A small consolation from Mother Nature. Okay. So. The yard waste was yeah. a paradise. Lily couldn't. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, well, I can't really do anything. I might as well go to the tire swing. Lily would have loved to have played on the completely harmless tire swing. Doubt it. Mm -mm. That's <laughs> why she immediately climbed on the termite infested tree. Uh uh. Nope. <laughs> At least she would have done that. But apparently, she preferred the risk of getting into deep trouble as soon as the players signed off. Luckily, that turned out well. Next to the hand that stands for use, take, and eat drink is also a speech bubble for talk. The computer automatically selects the right icon. This ensures that Lily neither puts her hand in a hornet's nest, nor eats thumbtacks. Seeing as you're already here, have a chat with Lily's friend Edna. Whoops. She will certainly be pleased. I already did that, so let me go ahead and I'll do it faster. Skip all this kind of... Hey, Lily! What's new? Lily can discuss various topics. These are displayed as symbols at the bottom of the screen. The meaning of each symbol is displayed when you move the mouse over them. Any dialogue can be ended with the red X at any time. First, select the topic, Chores Assigned by Mother Superior. 
What do you have to do for mothers? Don't tell me you... I'm still fine. Lily can sometimes expand on a topic. In this case, she can talk about her two new tasks. But you can also... Yeah, okay. Um... Are you still... I... But unfortunately... When we... Or even... I all think that. If maybe... Um, the shelf will uh, I don't now you uh uh we read but f it has to There we go. So I have to get into the cellar. But this is gonna be the first episode, it's really just a tutorial on how to play. And then I will make the next Edna and Harvey episode next. Thank you for watching.